What is synesthesia? Synesthesia is the condition in which stimulation in one of our senses involuntarily activates another at the same time. The causes of synesthesia is unclear since there is about 60 to 80 subtypes of it. The common subtypes is grapheme, color synesthesia, and chromesthesia. There are many other subtypes, but I'm not going to get into it because it'll take up too much time. Um, synesthesia only affects 3-5% to 5 of the population, which can also be passed on genetically too. In most cases, people with synesthesia will have more than one subtype. So the common subtypes of synesthesia, grapheme color synesthesia and chromesthesia. Um, what grapheme color synesthesia is, is colors being associated with specific numbers, letters, and symbols, while chromesthesia is colors associated with sounds, notes, and pitches. So for this example here, um, this is created by Sean Day. Uh, Sean Day asked 25 synesthetes what colors they associate with each letter and number. Um, noticing there's certain letters that seem to have the same synesthetic color, such as the number zero, which I guess they technically don't see a color because all the 25 synesthetes say they see either white, gray, or black, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> um, for chromesthesia, uh, this chart shows that there, um, shows kind of what the subtype chromesthesia might look like to someone that has it. Uh, it's, this is created by a blogger named Robin. Uh, she claims to have perfect pitch and she wanted to share what she sees with her chromesthesia. So she colored the notes on the left to help display what colors she sees when that note is played. The two images on the right help show what color flashes before her eyes when the notes are played. She said she created the images as close to what she sees as possible, but they're not 100% accurate, sadly. Um, this leads us to the question, are there any benefits to synesthetes? Well, in a way, synesthetes, or synesthetes, sorry, synesthesia is actually not thought of as a disease. It actually proves some sensory enhancements. Synesthetes are better at deciphering between colors or smells rather than someone who doesn't have it. Synesthetes also have enhanced creativity, and it's said that Vincent van Gogh um, might have had synesthesia. Synesthetes also have enhanced memories. They seem to be quite talented at remembering numbers or digits especially, such as a phone number or security code. This is due to each number being a certain color, which seems to help remember easier. Synesthetes were often accused of having an overactive imagination before anyone really knew what synesthesia was. But the colors synesthetes perceive are perceived the same way as people without synesthesia perceive them. To help test true synesthetes, task were tasks tasks, sorry, <laughs> were given to test whether the person had synesthesia or not. In one task, people were asked to look at a word and say aloud the color of ink the word is printed in as quickly as they can. Remembering that letters are colored differently to synesthetes, if the ink matches the synesthetic color, the response is very quick, but on the other hand, if the synesthetic color is different than the inks, the response time is very much slower. It's because the synesthetic color is different than the color of the ink, which to a synesthete makes it hard to determine what color the word actually is, which also helps prove that synesthesia is uncontrollable. Overall, you could conclude that synesthesia is complicated to research being as there's so many subtypes of it and all synesthetes don't all see the same synesthetic color shape sound taste and so on and so forth but on the bright side we have synesthetes like julie to make up for it 